If this is a temple of technology, then the television is the altar at which men worship. Now digital technology is giving our old family friend a facelift. Digital television is the biggest thing to happen to TV since Elvis appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show. Digital television is the, the umbrella term for this new medium that will replace analog television as we've known it for 50 years. Digital TV refers to televisions which can receive and display digital signals. At the highest levels, it's all about a bigger and better picture. Each traditional broadcast station is allocated six megahertz of bandwidth. Think of bandwidth like a highway, and each lane is six megahertz wide. With digital TV, the signal is compressed, meaning more traffic can fit down that same six megahertz lane. One reason it can do this is because a lot of the visual information doesn't change from frame to frame. Digital compression lets one frame of video borrow from the previous frame information that didn't change. Digital TV can provide four or five standard resolution channels simultaneously. Or a station can choose to devote all of the allocated bandwidth to the ultimate couch potato experience, high definition television, HDTV. HDTV is better than being there. It's the ultimate home theater experience with five times more information on the screen than analog television. It's really TV on steroids. Why is digital television better? Well, there's basically two reasons. One is the modulation scheme that allows for error-free transmission and reception. And the other one is the video compression, the allowing of more information to be transmitted. If we look at this comparison between standard analog television and digital television, on the analog transmission, we can get ghosts, which is a reflection of the main signals. The transmitted signal bounces off of a hill, a tree, a building, and is reflected and arrives at the receiver slightly delayed, and we get two images. The other problem that can occur with an analog receiver is snow, a weakening of the signal, which would show up as kind of a, a, a splotchy or staticky picture. We see the digital picture here. Not only is it flawless, with no interference or ghosts, those types of things, but it's a denser picture. It has more pixels, and it's a widescreen ratio. So if we compare the two, the image here is cropped and cut down. In 1996, the Federal Communications Commission accepted HDTV standards. More and more networks are offering HDTV programming, at least part of the time. Over the next 10 to 15 years, all broadcast TV will be digital. That means you're gonna have to get rid of Old Faithful or buy a set-top box to convert the digital signal.